Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. John Morgan scored his first victory in his battle to allow smokable medical marijuana in circuit court in May. It makes my life a lot, a lot more unbearable. He'd hoped to take the case straight to the Supreme Court, arguing the weight could cause his plaintiff, Kathy Jordan, irreparable harm. I think that the Supreme Court would be more likely to hear this case, to take this case on an expedited fashion because of Kathy's health. But an appellate court blocked his request to expedite the trial. On Tuesday, the same court also blocked the circuit court's decision to allow smokable pot as the case moves through the courts. The three-judge panel argued Morgan hasn't proven he stands a chance at winning the case in the long run. It also said continuing to block smokable marijuana would not cause irreparable harm. I mean, you have to ask Kathy Jordan if the, 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 the court suggested there was no irreparable damage should the stay uh, be lifted or, or stopped. So, uh, you know, I think she would disagree with that. The ruling impacts patients and growers who are stuck in limbo as they prepare for a potential change in the products they can offer. I mean, it has an impact on the business, it has an impact on patients, and of course what doctors are recommending. So until that's resolved, it's going to be, a, it's going to be difficult. Advocates say the continued effort to block patients' access to smokable pot only creates momentum for a likely 2020 ballot initiative to legalize recreational marijuana. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.